Hey YouTube, Minnesota Eric, and so uh, what I'm trying to tell you here is that the engine's running and, and my air meter is not registering right. I'm in the middle of the range, which is uh, 90 to 120 pounds, and this is kind of getting down to why I absolutely hate all my action cameras. It's like I've been friend-zoned by them. I, I just want to plug them in and have them record audio and video, and then we go and bang out videos, but they won't go all the way. There's always something wrong with them. In this case, I recorded an entire series of videos unaware that my microphone wasn't plugged in. It looks like it's plugged in, but I don't know. The socket's loose or something. Annoying. Anyway, hey, so what we're going to do here is I'm adjusting the governor pressure, so I go ahead and take off the side panel here. And... Uh, We get the side panel here, and I want to put the camera aimed at the governor. I'll stick a picture, an old picture of the governor before I cleaned it up here. That's what the governor looks like. And the actual twiddly bit's underneath this rubber cap. And it's just a set screw with a lock nut. And you go ahead and you adjust it, and then you go pound on something that uses air off the air brakes. And you see where the new governing pressure is. And I want to set this at around 120 PSI. So that's what I'm doing here. And then... uh after I set after I set the governing pressure, I'm wondering why my my uh, my air horn, which I made work, I've already taken the air horn apart once and cleaned off its copper discs and whatnot, bench tested it, it worked great, and I bolted it up earlier this past summer. And when I went to go exercise the air horn, it tried to work and then it stopped working, and I didn't know why. And so. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove uh, the air horn and uh, I bring it into the shop and I take the air horn apart again. And again, I'm absolutely bad. Why won't they? I, I confirm when I get to the shop that, yeah, I can give it compressed air and sure enough, it's not working. And I'm like, why? It, it you know, the only thing I can think of is there must have been some schmiggy, some stuff that was in the old air line. A, 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 Keep in mind, some of these airlines had been open, I don't know how long, so they could have theoretically gotten dust, dirt, and grime in there, right? And so I uh, I go ahead and I take apart the air horn on the bench, and I'm pretty much unimpressed. I don't see anything, but you can see where I've been work. I, I've sanded down on these little copper diaphragms, and I guess, you know, maybe a, enough grit got in there to hold them firm. I don't know, so I, I do a little light sanding, and you see me doing that, a little light sanding on them. I go ahead and I put them back together, and then I confirm, once again, the air horn is working on the bench. And so uh, I bring it on out the next day. It, 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 it was starting to get dark by the time I finished this project up, uh, taking the air horns and putting them, taking them apart and putting them back together. And so the next day, it's already snowed, and that's where the audio kicks back in. So there we have it, YouTube, and we'll let the, the audio story take off from there. All right, YouTube, so I'm working on the air horn, and it snowed overnight, so I've been waiting for the drips to go away mostly. And so I'm going to start this rascal up, purge the airline. I don't have the air horn hooked up, but if there's something in that airline that was causing the air horn to stop working, I'm going to blow it out, so to speak, using its own air pressure. Hey, cold start! There are no glow plugs whatsoever in this old DT-466, uh, so it doesn't like to start in the cold. Okay, so the air line is not connected to the air horn. So what we're gonna do is just, uh, not sitting on the seat because it's wet. So I'm just uh, exercising the...
So if this works, if this works, there'll be a loud air horn noise coming from that vehicle. this work before I'm gonna guess it's there's just enough grit or something in the airline I understand that the airline was effectively left open for who knows how long there's enough grit in there they got in there and kind of jammed those little copper diaphragms I showed you so now it's obviously working and I'm happy because if you got air brakes you gotta have an air horn it's just a rule it's just a rule <laughs> Uh, anyway YouTube if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more then subscribe hey winter's coming on here we're gonna have burning we're gonna be burning stuff I was hoping to burn today as a matter of fact just not enough snow Ugh, bummer but it is what it is so I'll tell you what I'll meet you on the flip side It's like driving a mobile deer stand. 